Psychologists like to interpret the movie viewing habits of Americans, especially during the summer blockbuster season. Mark, experts believe that there is a reason some of us are more interested in one type of movie compared to others. Not just that, but that our favorite movie genre can actually reveal a whole host of personality traits and characteristics. So there's a reason that you might prefer comedies over thrillers, but does it reveal your true inner self? Well, you know, I, this is kind of a scary question because right now Amazon and, and I guess Netflix as well have the ability to drill down and, and see what your choices are over a period of time. I, of course, they don't know who's listening on which account, but it's another issue altogether. Uh, but uh, it strikes me that there must be some real data mining going on. You know, if you're watching Danish police shows, what does that say about you? I don't know. Well, uh, there's obviously, you know, uh, a psychology here, and you're right about data mining. Mike, according to a study by Michelle G. C. Poots, an associate professor of political science at the University of Dayton, she notes that movies can be a great mechanism for conversations and reflection. It's also the most accessible form of art that is out there, she says. People are more uh, of most walks of life experience movies from the working class to the super rich, and it provides a common experience for society to talk about issues with a bit of a safety net without being too confrontational. But she goes on to say, it's a leap to conclude how one political's leanings affects one's movie going experience. I'm not sure we can pin down the directionality of partisanship and movie watching. Do you agree with Dr. Poots? I guess I would have to. I mean, it's kind of interesting. I've never really thought about movie going from a political perspective. Um, I, I think I, I, I think I see movie going as, as, as an entertainment function. And so that's why I go and I assume that's why others are there. And I'm always fascinated by what people find attract, find interesting and, 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 and engaging and entertaining and what people don't. Um, I, <laughs> I hadn't seen the John Wick series for those of you who have, if you guys have or haven't. And so I told, told that to my, to my office team and I was um, excoriated for not having, for not having seen that series. So I watched it all and real and then saw what it was and it was adventure, but it was also very violent. Um, and I just didn't, and it was, I enjoyed it, but I, it. <laughs> but I didn't, I, I was, the people who were advocating for it, I was very much astounded by, but clearly it was, but it was very entertaining. And so I didn't, I couldn't figure out what you put, where you put that. So I think that, I think that people go to, go to movies to, to, to be entertained. And, and I think that does, it does elicit some things to be able to talk about them. Some things can be provocative and that's, that's good and a good place to talk about it, but that's kind of how I see it. I don't see it from a political perspective. Well, so so here's the here's the the you know the uh, the question as we we go to break here. There are three blockbuster movies in circulation right now: Barbie, Oppenheimer, and Sound of Freedom. Which of these movies will you watch this summer? And do it your choices reflect your political uh, persuasions? I'll start with you, Mark. Well, I, I'm looking forward to Oppenheimer, but I have to say that uh, my mother, my wife, and my daughter are planning this next week to go see the Barbie movie together. So I don't know if that's gender specific or what. <laughs> what about you, Mike? My family's all seen Barbie, and I have been advocate. It's been advocated that I should also go because it's it, it's um it's not just a female movie. Um, and judging from the numbers, it's clearly not. So I'm, I will see both Barbie and Oppenheimer. Um, both both are on my list. I thought I'll do I'll do the Barbenheimer. I, I've seen Sound of Freedom. It's a fabulous movie. It's a you know depressing topic, child uh, exploitation and child kidnapping, uh, but it's a very compelling comp compelling movie. I want to see Oppenheimer for historical reasons, uh, just to see if it matches up to the famous Paul Newman movie Fat Boy and uh, Fat Boy and and what was the the other part of that tall. <laughs> Uh, it was about the atom preparing the atomic bomb. But I also am going to go see Barbie because the women in my family all want to see Barbie, which for me is a bit trifling. But, you know, what the heck? It, it doesn't really mean much at all uh, when, you, when you look for summer entertainment. Mm -hmm.